Well, this is gonna be a whale of a good time. <laughs> yes, I went there. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Zuodger DX Whale Change Gun. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Let me move this off to the side for a second here, and bring forth the box. Here we have the Whale Change Gun. Here we have Juo Whale. Up top we have Juo Whale. All like stop. In the name of whale. I'm sorry. Up top it says whale change gun. <laughs> on the side of the box here, you just have the whale on the other side of the box again. You have Juo Whale with the whale change gun. On the bottom, you have the three forms here. You have a Juo Eagle, Juo Whale, Juo Gorilla. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. It does this, that, and the other, all that stuff. And of course, you get Sword Pac Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have the whale change gun, which is used by Duo Eagle to achieve his third form. So now he can use Eagle, Gorilla, and now Whale. And um, if he gets one more form, uh, Duo of the World, Misao, he's just going to ball up into his little ball of, of sadness. And yeah, he has more, he can use more animals than I. I don't deserve to be on this team! I don't deserve love! I don't know. You know how he is on the show by now. But anyway... <laughs> so, um... This came about in the 28th and 29th episodes of Jew Odger, which also featured the Go Kaijers, which made those two episodes the best two episodes of Jew Odger ever, because Go Kaijer is awesome! But anyway... <laughs> I was so happy to see them again. I was so happy. But anyway, you, you know, if you guys know, you know my, that um, you know that uh, Go Kaiju is my absolute favorite Sentai. So seeing them together again was just ah, uh, I was so happy. I was smiling the whole time I was watching those two episodes. But anyway, let's talk about the toy, shall we? <laughs> so I was getting close here, so we can see the details. Nice gold paint on this panel right here with the Ju Audio logo. You got the eagle, shark, lion, tiger, elephant. Done in a beautiful, beautiful gold. I love this little texture they have going on around the symbol itself. Looks very nice. The rest is done in a gold plastic that has that nice uh, metal flake finish. I don't know how, how well that's coming off on my camera. You can see my lights really well. <laughs> but uh, I don't know how well you can see the sparkly, sparkly flecks in there. But they are there. And coming to the front panel here, you can see... Yeah, well, all the details that are there. Uh, this side, this panel is pretty hollow, but that actually is screen accurate. That That is how it looks on the show. So, hey, can't complain because it's that's out of screen accurate. Um, and the rest of the toy is cast in red plastic. Uh, the trigger is done in that gold plastic. Uh, here is your LED right there with some flashing lights that will go off once we get into the electronics. Uh, your speaker is right here. On off switch is right there. The battery compartment is right there. It takes three AAA batteries. Um, you have a slider right here, which will activate some other noises. And we'll get into that in a little bit. Now also included with the uh, whale change gun is a little minifig of Juo Whale. So much like the uh, the Juo Changer and Juo the Light, you get a little minifig of the corresponding character. So here is Juo Whale. Cast all in red plastic. Um, you know, as usual, no paint on it whatsoever, but all the detail that's supposed to be there is there. You can actually see the whale actually etched into his chest. It's there. Shame it's not picked down in paint, but it's there, and he has a whale change gun right there on his hand. And again, for being so small, it actually does have some, some good detailing on it. There you go. There's the back. You know, it's just a static piece, no articulation, but still. A little minifig to put on your shelf, if you wish, so... There you have that. And uh, this is actually a, a pretty a pretty large piece right here. I mean, just for a quick comparison, here it is with the uh, with the Juo Buster. And you can see that this this thing is is quite large by comparison. It's a pretty hefty weapon. I mean, it definitely is. It does have a, a little bit of heft to it, which is nice. So uh, yeah, and you got your big handle right here for the transformation. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to show off without turning on the power. So now let's get down to it and uh, 
show off the noises that this makes. So your on-off switch is right here. Turn it on and you get... You get that startup noise and you got the lights going off right there. And now it is time to awaken our instincts. So to do that, you're just gonna grab the handle and just swing it back. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. See if we can get all this on camera. So we just open her up and uh, yeah. Hold on, Kaksen! And then you just pull the trigger. And there you go. You've now transformed into a duo whale. Did I say that right? I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I said that right, but anyway. <laughs> I might have just said something really offensive by accident. I, I'm just trying to say it the way they say it on the show. I don't know. I don't speak Japanese anyway. <laughs> So here is the whale change gun opened up and um, as you can see it's just a big cube hand cannon and that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I do quite like this. So now that the whale change gun is opened up we can see the big whale right there. It's just a big sticker. Um, on the other side here you also have a big sticker there with the whale. Here you have the barrel and has some detail molded in. It is in red and white, as you can see there. And we still have a spot right here, so you can see the lights going off when things are activated. And there you go. Now there is a spinning feature uh, with the barrel. Um, there are two ways to uh, crank up the mechanism. You can just take the, uh, the barrel itself, and just give it a couple turns, and when you pull the trigger, We don't want that to happen yet. Shush, shush, shush. I'm, mm, mm, not yet. We're not getting to that yet. But anyway, um, you can just hold it down. And it'll turn for a good while. Another way to wind up the mechanism is to use the slider. So if you just crank it up, which is kind of annoying. It's kind of loud. I don't know if I would do this. I don't really like it anyway, because the, the, the noise it makes when it's turning is, is kind of irritating. But anyway, you pull the trigger. And that noise will haunt your dreams. But anyway, so <laughs> two ways you're gonna, you know, crank up that mechanism if you want to wind it up. But uh, okay, let's turn it back on. So anyway, now that we're back on, um, after you have transformed into Duo Whale, you can now uh, pull the trigger and you get some shooting noises. You get two separate shooting noises and the LED in there will go off. I don't know how you can see it, but. There you go. And you can rapid fire. And there you go. One thing that is a downside to this toy is the fact that when you open this up, the speaker is now like encased in all this, so it does kind of muffle the noises a bit, which is unfortunate. You know? Uh, but you know, it is what it is. This way they designed it, so, you know, what are you going to do about it? But. There you go. So you got your shooting noises, and now we can do our final attack. So to do our final attack, we are going to hold the trigger down, and after we hold the trigger down, we're going to move the slider three times. So, hold the trigger down. Get your standby noise, and slide three times. You get a new standby noise. So the lights are going off in there. And then pull the trigger. And there you 
you go. So there is the jewel final. And now you can do a super final attack. So to do the super final attack, you hold the trigger and then you move the slider six times. So hold the trigger down. And six times. Stand by noise. And then pull the trigger. There's your super final attack and it goes through all of the animal noises and that's pretty cool. So there you go. So now it is time to summon our cube animals and get to some transformations and combinations and all that good stuff. So to do that, we have to go back into cube mode. So to go back into cube mode, just grab the handle and pull it forward. Close it back up. And uh, when you're in cube mode, uh, when you pull the trigger, you do get like a, like a hitting noise. So you have that going on. So anyway, to uh, now summon your cube animal, to summon cube whale, you're going to move the slider once. Get your standby music. And then pull the trigger. And there you go, you've now summoned Cube Whale. So now to transform Cube Whale, you're now going to move the slider twice. So, one, and two. I feel like I should be wearing a loincloth when I do these reviews. Anyway, <laughs> so, pull the trigger. So there you have the transformation noise for Dodekaio, which is the robot mode of Cube Whale. So now, last but not least, is our big combination where we combine all of the cube animals. So to do that, you're gonna move the slider three times. So one, two, three. And there you have the noise for Wild Tosai Dodekai King. That's a mouthful. So there you have the noise for that combination. And uh, that's it. That's it for this toy. I believe that is all that it does. If I missed anything or did anything wrong, I apologize. But you know, as always with these toys, I do the best that I can because I can't read the instructions. <laughs> but um, there you go. There you have the whale change gun. Let me turn this off. Open it back up, because I like it better in the open position, yeah. But yeah, um, I, I like this thing way more than I probably should. <laughs> I think this thing is just stupid fun. Um, I really like it. I just like this big, just kind of cube arm cannon. Like, it's just kind of, I don't know, kind of weird Mega Man thing going on here. I don't know. I like it. it. I think it's fun. I mean, I'm sure there are people who will find 20,000 different ways to hate on this. I like it. It's fun for me. My opinion is mine, your opinion is yours. Hey, nobody's wrong here. But anyway, 
there you go, and you get the little minifig as well. So, there you have that. Now, I picked this up from CS Toys. Of course, there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as... Hey, look, it's a whale man. Of course, there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. And you can also go to BigBadToyStore.com for some Jewager items. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below, so check that out. And you can also check out my Jewager playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Jew Audger DX Whale Change Gun, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Big geek, bear proud. Boom in your face.